Well, good evening everyone. I'm gonna say good evening even though it's very clearly daytime, but I know that you are going to be watching this video at my usual time of 5 p.m. I've just put oil on my hands. Um, I apologize that there wasn't a video on Monday. You know, it's something that I don't put pressure on myself for, but I, I love hitting my deadlines. I always enjoy doing that. But sometimes when you're in the build up to a big project like this, um, I think everyone around you just looks and thinks, give yourself some breathing space. And that's exactly what we did um, on Monday. There was just a lot. I ended up going to the Pride of Britain Awards, um, which was quite honestly one of the most incredible evenings of my life. I don't think I've ever been so inspired and moved by an event. However, that will be in another video. <laughs> that's coming. What is in this video is my launch video. And um, there's so much that I want to say, first and foremost, like there's just, there is so much. What I'm actually doing at the moment is I've just finished my makeup for this evening's event because launch day in the time that I'm filming this is actually tomorrow and this evening is my event. But you can buy, no more pre-orders, you can buy Evergreen right now. I'll list all good booksellers where it's available to buy in the description box down below. Um, and you can do so there. The feedback that I've had so so far has truly just blown my mind because I know that um, a lot of the independent booksellers have been sending out their books a little bit early. I think that's something that generally tends to happen. And some of you have got your books already. And many of you have even made a healthy dent on the book. And I wanted to read you one of the um, reviews that I got last night just as I was getting into bed. I did share it on my Instagram, but I wanted to share it with you as well. Just because with, with, with launching a book, I think that um, inevitably there are going to be people that this book resonates with, that it helps them and it, it is beneficial. Unfortunately, we are all such individuals that that just won't be the case for everyone. And so I'm hoping that uh, by hearing balanced reviews, rev reviews from people that hopefully like you are from my audience and are very much into the kind of contents that is in Evergreen, I thought this might be useful. So it says, I wanted to say personally, I love your book. I find it hard to get into a book, but I can't seem to put yours down. I'll be sad when I finished it. It's beautifully written. And the first chapter I feel like we can all at some point relate to, feeling like you have to stay cocooned in your bed to get away from it all. It's so nice to see an influencer who's so, who is so open about life and the struggles that it brings. I've always looked up to you and, constant, and I'm constantly taking tips on how to style my clothes based off your stunning looks. You truly are amazing and I hope that maybe you even consider writing another book sometime in the future. I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> so that's just one of the reviews that we've like slowly started to accumulate over the last few days and I wanted to put this in here because it meant a lot to me. I went to bed last night with a lot of nerves for today because I am standing up in front of apparently 250 people and um, I've never done that before so I was very very nervous throughout the night. I'm starting to get my usual sore throat that I get when I'm run down um, and sneezing a lot as well. This is what happens. I've noticed now that it's not contagious in any way shape or form. This is just my body's response to sort of um, being a bit tired and a bit run down I think um, but I am very, very excited for this evening. So what I'll do is I'll pop the link to Evergreen in the description box down below. I want to tell you a little bit about Evergreen. Um, and I've made some notes for my Q&A this evening. And one of the things that I wanted to really clarify, because I feel like there's always people that don't necessarily, maybe they haven't read the write-up of the book, um, or maybe they haven't watched the videos and they don't really understand what the book is about. So if you're watching this and you're sort of like, you know, I'm a bit confused. It can be a bit confusing on Amazon as well because you'll see that my book will hit like number one bestseller in homes, are homes and gardens and number one bestseller in like walking or something like that. And I think that's where it can maybe gets a bit confusing, but just to manage your expectations on what Evergreen includes and answer one of the questions from the Q&A tonight as well. So the sort of crux of the book center around gentle reminders, warm reassurances, 
comforting prompts, lessons, and a few high fives thrown in there as well. There's also recipes, like I've mentioned, drinks recipes, whether that's preserve recipes, cake recipes, all of those kinds of things. There's also prompts that will help you to identify things to be excited or to look for and acknowledge um, every season. What I wanted to do was really put together a guide that could help you identify the, the natural, already existing joys in life. Because if you're able to identify them, if you're able to take joy in them, if you're able to get excited about them, which I very much do nowadays, everything that comes after that is just mind-blowingly, a mind-blowingly amazing bonus. And it enables you to experience like gratitude and life on a completely different level. And so that's generally kind of what we're focusing around is that underpinning um, of, of gratitude, but taking it way deeper. I feel like gratitude has maybe lost um, a little bit of its meaning as such. I, mean, I just, I don't think we're ever really going deep enough with it. And so hopefully through the seasons that, um, that we've broken down into chapters in Evergreen that will help you to reconnect with those joys, with those already existing moments of happiness before you've bought anything, before you've achieved anything. That's what we're trying to do. Um, one of the questions that I had that I'm gonna be answering this evening is whether you can read Evergreen in real time or whether you can go to a specific chapter and read that seeing as we're in autumn now and the book starts in mid midwinter. Um, in my humble opinion, and this is just going to be, you know, from me, the lessons within this book are interchangeable. However, their links are with the seasons and with the metaphors that nature and Mother Nature offers up. You are very welcome to read the book now and then revisit it in those seasons so that you can have the reminders that come within the book of what to look out for then. That's me personally. I know that there will be people that have bought this for Christmas um, and will unwrap this on Christmas Day. And I believe that you'll probably start your evergreen journey with the seasons, which will be really exciting. But in all honesty, you can make up the rules for yourself on this. Um, there are things in there that I think that if you're having a great time in your life, if you're having a difficult time in your life, it will serve you really well. So if you're eager to get stuck in, get stuck in, enjoy and you'll kind of understand how the lessons and the prompts and all of the information that's in this book, really, you can use it to the beat of your own drum, essentially. Now that I've spoken to you for eight minutes, um, and I don't wanna to take too long, because I do have to get ready for my event this evening, um, you know it's important when your mum and dad are coming. Oh my gosh, uh, that is going to be nerve wracking. I don't think my mum and dad have ever come to an event that I've ever done in my career, so that's gonna be big. But um, I am gonna take you back in time now and show you a little bit of the process of recording the audio book for Evergreen, which will be available now when you're, re when you're watching this, when you're reading this. What I want to say is that I still firmly believe that there will be people that want to buy the book, and then there will be people that want to buy the audio book, and then there will be those certain types of people that maybe want to buy both because you want the beauty of the book, you want to be able to maybe follow along and make notes in the book, but you also want this particular book to be read to you. I think it's a completely different experience versus reading the book to having it read to you. Um, it almost feels like a, um, it almost feels like a pep talk when it's being read to you, like a really wonderful, wholesome podcast episode that you leave feeling really uplifted, focused, grateful and with a little bit more clarity. So I would say that if you haven't ever, you know, downloaded an audio audiobook before, I would say that this maybe is the opportunity that you, you could try. My husband is messaging me. <gasps> I'm going to um, send you a video of what Mr. Millen Gordon, well no, I'm gonna pop the video on screen of what Mr. Millen Gordon has just sent me. It's our chickens raiding the flower beds. It is absolutely carnage out there. Yeah, I think they've just earned themselves a timeout. 
Um, so yes, I think this may be, might be an opportunity where you want to try the audiobook as well. I know that I have been listening to my own book um, when I've hit turbulent times over the last few months and I've really enjoyed being able to just have that, you know, I don't have to carve out the time in the evening, I can just put it on when I'm maybe cooking dinner, when I'm driving in my car, when I'm getting ready for an event. Yeah, I've been listening to my own audiobook before this, okay, just to get my mind in the zone. Um, but I am going to take you back in time to share some moments of that um, recording with you because first and foremost it was my first time ever doing this so I was very much an amateur and there is a section in the book about embracing your amateur status. I was also scared as well, in fact there are moments in the audiobook where you just hear my breath where I go <laughs> because I was, I was nervous, it was something I hadn't done before and I really wanted to do a good job for you guys and for everyone that has worked on this book with me. Um, and then I had the fear of tackling autumn, which is for me, I'll talk about it this evening, but it, for me it's my most favourite, but it's also the hardest of all of the chapters for me to have written, to have recorded, and I had built that up as this scary monster in my head that I had to tackle and I cried the entire way through. So I'm gonna take you back, show you the process, just let you be there with it for me because this was a real moment. You know I love audiobooks as much as I love physical books and getting to do this with my own book was a real moment for me and I was very, very excited. So I wanted to share this with you just to give you a different angle as well. Um, I want to thank every single one of you who has purchased the book already. Um, I can't wait to hear what you think about the book, I can't wait to hear how it helps you and I can't wait to hear how you go about implementing some of the lessons and um, learnings of this book into your life because I think that being able to consolidate the last nearly 12 years of my career into a book like this, there's so many different books I could have written, um, but it's this book that I wrote and I know that there's going to be times where someone who's never heard of me before picks this book up and it will help them in navigating a part of their life and that will never fail to move me in very, very special ways. And like I said, knowing that this book will live on when I'm not here and people will be able to find this book is so, so special to me. My husband has got the leaf blower out, never has my life. <laughs> He's getting the, the chickens, putting the, the chicken mud back into the beds. <laughs> it's killing my vibe. I swear, that man loves that leaf blower more than he loves me. I am almost 100% certain of that. Anyway, I want to take this moment to obviously thank you and just, I'm so grateful for everyone that has already shared them receiving their books and how excited they are to receive this book. I also want to thank my team because my team are always the unsung heroes of what you see online. They make things happen and I know I've touched on it in this, in this next part of this video. Um, you'll hear me have a moment of appreciation but I really want you to know how grateful I am to have the girls that I have around me, the teams that I have around me. Um, I've never felt so safe and secure in my entire career and I think that I'm moving into this launch in the most secure way that I think I've ever moved into something. Um, and that is a confidence that I don't think I can put into words. So huge shout out to my girls, Carrie, Fee, Satin, they're all coming with me tonight. Ali's coming with me tonight. Um, obviously the biggest thank you to the next layer of this team, which is the Orion Springs girls, Ellen, Jess, Helena, it's been up and down and it's been a ride, but I am so grateful for your strength and your dedication and your your just kindness on this project. You are the dream, the absolute dream. And of course, my publicist, Charlotte at Bell PR and Megan and all of the girls, I still feel like I'm meeting the full team, um, but just thank you to them for being incredible and being wonderful and like being the the warm hug in this insane world of being public like this. Um, they are the smiling faces, the warm hugs that I think 
the sensitive souls like me really need to see when they are doing these events and they're going here, there and everywhere. So yes, it's very, very exciting. And I'm just so grateful to them as well. Obviously, I am so grateful to my husband. My husband has hugged me and consoled me in my fear around this project. And I honestly, he does not get the credit that he deserves. That man is like, I've never known anybody like him in my life. Like anyone that meets him, they're instantly drawn to him. But when you really get to, to, the, to the, the core of him, he is the most special human on this earth. And I could not do any of this and I would not make, through, make it through any of this without him. Obviously Porty, Barky, Lumi, all of the chick chicks, my family, my mum, my dad, my best friend Carrie, who obviously I've already mentioned as my manager, but my best friend as well. We walk this funny world of best friend and manager. Um, so yes, just thank you. I know you don't want to hear me thank all of these people. So I'm going to let you get into the, the video now and um, just watch this process come to life. And I will see you shortly. But thank you so much um, for the last 12 years. This is so special and cathartic and I'm not gonna cry in this part because I cry a lot in this next part and I have to say that I have to draw a line under the crying okay because this is me preparing for this and then now we have to move on once this is out there in the world okay because <laughs> I can't keep crying on my channel but just thank you so yeah let's go good morning everyone today is the day it is actually the day of so many things as well so many exciting things most importantly i am recording the audiobook for evergreen and this is so so exciting for me because i am a keen audiobook lover first and foremost but second of all bringing my book to life like this is going to be it's going to be very very surreal and very very exciting and i just I, I'm kind of excited but equal parts apprehensive because I have obviously read through this book so many times and I struggle and I know that I've spoken to you about this, I struggle to get through certain parts um, and I don't know how I'm going to do it in the book to be honest so I may have to take a few breaks but it's two days of recording and um, I'm heading down with one of the girls from my team and I'm looking forward to it so Yes, um, I'm wearing the beautiful Anushka Baroque pearls with her stunning little mini sort of D-hoops. Um, I'm wearing my Holland Cooper Paddington blazer over my um, Amelia Wickstead dress. And I feel like this is really a party from the back. It looks the most beautiful when you see it from the back because those, those elbow pads just add such a special element to the look. Um, the Paddington blazer is one of the most sort of classic styles from Holland Cooper. They do it in a number of different colours and I have all of them, but I would have to say that this is probably my favourite. This is probably the most versatile in terms of colour. It's the darts at the back. Those darts create such a beautiful silhouette, I actually can't cope. It's a strange day today, as this whole entire season has been, so I'm taking my blazer just to ensure that no matter what, I'm kind of warm. Um, I've got my bag, I'm wearing my new florist fragrance, which is Flowers of the Four Seasons, which feels very, very fitting to um, what I'm doing today. So that is, that's the plan of action. I need to get myself a coffee, most importantly, uh, a Starbucks en route, but I have no idea what this is going to entail because I'm not even going to try and pretend like I know what this process is is like. I feel like I've spent my entire life winging it and I know I talked about this in my recent video but like I would always pretend like I knew what I was doing in an in situations when I knew nothing. And so for this being my first ever book this is a process that I've never done. I don't even know how you record an audiobook. I sat at my writing desk in the Wisteria bedroom just recording onto my phone. So this is going to be very, very different to that. And I'm looking forward to learning something new and learning a process and also seeing how I do because I actually feel like if this job doesn't sort of continue, I'm gonna become someone that reads other people's books on Audible because I think I would enjoy that. But anyway. Go. So we have arrived to the studio and this is where I'm going to be spending, oh my gosh, shut up you 
<gasps> Stop it. <gasps> oh my gosh, Emily Atak. I know her. That's so funny. Dog something. We need obviously to get a photo of Lydia. Obviously, <laughs> obviously. So yes, this is where I'm going to be spending the next two days reading Evergreen. And oh my gosh, it's so official. This is unreal. Oh my gosh. <laughs> So cool. It's like a little sweet. I did not expect this in it. How wonderful. Oh, there's more here. Wow. Goodness me. And there's snacks. Fantastic. So this is where I'm going to be living for the next two days, which is super exciting. I've got my water, headphones, the final script, which we actually only finalized like yesterday so they've had this through this morning which is exciting in itself um and i'm just going to get myself comfy on this this chair and get going oh my gosh i can't believe it's happening <clears throat> can you hear me are you talking about me <laughs> are you slagging me off <laughs> no i can't hear you I can hear you. <laughs> Amazing. So I can't go and have a nap or anything. <laughs> yeah. No naps. Am I going to be reading this page so Evergreen discover the joy in every season? Do you want me to read the dedication? Okay. Okay. <clears throat> God, I feel a bit nervous now. Now that you're all listening to me. It's very different from being in my bedroom. Can I turn the the, the 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 whistle of my um, teeth down a little bit more? Creating an evergreen... Yes, that's much better. Thank you. It's okay. Do you want me to do it from the top or...? Okay. I'll just... I'll, I'll run it again because I'm feeling myself relax more and more with each time. For they encourage me to seek out delight and valuable lessons from each moment I get to experience these days. I'm slowing myself down as well because obviously I... Yeah. So do you want me to just start from... Um, the second paragraph. It hasn't always been a smooth process though. As we all know, life has its ups and downs. While it's unlikely that I'll be able to find out what those have been for you, in this book, I will share some of mine in the hope that the lessons I have learned along the way might prove helpful to you too. The most valuable lessons for me have come in just the last few years. Along with the rest of the world, I experienced the turmoil and grief of a pandemic of the pandemic. As I look back on the journey I have been on since then, I have a profound sense of gratitude for every single experience that has led me to the place I am now. How is this sounding? Are you sure? Really? For me, that day fell in February 2021. I'll always remember it, because at the age of 32, it was the day in which I smelled spring for the first time. Where had I been hiding for 30 plus years? I know. Well, we have just got to the end of the first part of the book, which is midwinter. Now moving on to spring, but we're gonna break for lunch. And my goodness, was I arrogant to be thinking that this could be my next career move because it is so much harder than I think I imagined. And I think because this is really a part that I know that so many of you are looking forward to and being immersed in the book so I'm probably putting a lot of pressure on myself but it's only because I really am so passionate about the book and I'm just have loved every moment of this process and this feels like as someone who listens to audiobooks so much it really feels like such an important part for me anyway obviously having the physical book obviously very important but we are on spring but time for lunch so back after lunch and ready to take on part two, which is spring. I am now armed with water and um, some honey and ginger tea just to help with my voice a little bit. Not because I'm, I'm not in loads of pain yet, but I'm starting to definitely feel it. And with it being, how many pages are we in? We're about 45 pages in, so about 50 pages really. And uh, yeah, so I say that's one about one fifth. Anyway, let's crack on. Right, we are on to the final part um, for today. We have a whole other day tomorrow 
So we've made it to part three summer and I'm definitely, definitely feeling it in my throat at the moment. But I just had one of these throat lozenges and at the moment I smelled it, I thought, my goodness, it smells like weed. Not that I know what that smells like, but um, <laughs> it has, it honestly feels like it's given me new tonsils because I was getting that sort of scratchy feeling. Um, but yes, on the home stretch for today and ready to go. Well, we have finished up for the day. It's even, it's oh like wow, watch. it's almost like a black watch tartan, isn't it? And I'm admiring this car because I'm pretty certain, yeah, my grandma had this, this car, maybe give or take a few years, but she definitely had this car at one point. Which is funny because I actually didn't realize the significance of this area, which is lovely that I'm recording this book here because not only is it where my family business originated, the original standalone store in like 1896 or something was here, but it's also where the Italian church is, where my parents got married as well. Obviously they're not together anymore, but it's here. So very, very significant. But we are finished up for the day, over halfway, which is really good. I was kind of worrying at the beginning of the day because it does take you a bit of time to sort of get into it. But I've just got used to where it, something feels right that I've said it in that way. I just go back and do it again if I, ha if I don't feel I've got it and you just move on. But there, are, I do this weird thing. I actually can't explain, but I like insert words that aren't even there and read words that don't exist. And just at one point I felt like I was reading it. Yeah, it's just rewriting the book. Like unnecessarily, it was just so weird. But yeah, it's a very, very new experience and I'm definitely not as, um, not as seamless at it as I thought I was gonna be. So no plans to, to leave YouTube just yet. <laughs> when you return home to the sweet smell of petrol and Mr. Millen Gordon using his leaf blower. What you been doing? <laughs> what you been doing? Oh, I bet you had a productive day because no one's here. Oh, okay. I cleaned out the chicken coop like completely sterilised it as well. Good, good. Used more, uh, hey. Sterilise the spray. And I've cut the lawns, de-headed the roses, all that stuff out the front of that bed. Good. Well done. Just a bit of tidying up basically. Amazing. My baby boy! <laughs> oh my goodness me! <laughs> Oh my god, you've just pulled my dress, you <laughs> naughty boy. <laughs> Come on, in we go. Stop pulling my dress. Come on, let mummy get into her pyjamas. Come on, boys, you show me the way. Oh, Ali is actually out for dinner this evening with his friends. And I was like, oh no, does that mean I'm gonna have to cook dinner for myself? When you're, like, it's weird. I've not really been doing anything, but I'm so tired. And he said, no, Satin has prepared dinner for you, which I'm so, so grateful for. Oh my gosh, I've arrived home to the biggest delivery from Penhaligans. How lovely. Oh, <gasps> stop it. High Grove Bouquet Body Lotion. High Grove Bouquet Body and Hand Wash. <gasps> Blenheim Bouquet, Babylon, wow. I think this is their new posh wash, which this is going straight on my dressing room island because this is their body body lotion and it's not hand and body lotion. I know we talked about this, but they've also sent some hand cream, some candles, some bars of soap. Oh, how lovely. Oh my goodness, you want your mummy to cuddle you. Well, my beautiful boy, come here. Right, I think I'm gonna get out of this dress and I'm probably going to wear a little bit more of a comfortable dress tomorrow, um, just because this is, it is very comfortable, but when you're sat down in it for a long period of time, I just ended up unzipping it, to be honest. But yeah, I'm having to take my own advice with um, this recording. What do I love? 
What attention do you want? Your tail is going like you want me to pick you up. But every time I try, you run away. Yeah, okay, little piggy. Oh my goodness me! Have you missed me or something? Oh my god, Potter! Oh my god. Potty! Calm down, my love! Calm down! Calm down. Oh my goodness. Um yeah, I'm having to take my own advice from my own book when it comes to the reading of Evergreen because like I said, I've never done this before. And so it's been a real process and I'm sort of having to embrace the fact that I don't know how this is going and I don't know how it should go. And so we made it to the halfway point on the first day, which was what they wanted. But um, yeah, I felt like it took me a little bit of time to like ease myself into it. But anyway, I'm gonna go and get myself into some comfies. I'm gonna have myself on vocal rest and um, maybe see you in the morning. Who knows? But yeah, very exciting. So weird to think of like all of the people that have sat in that chair and recorded their books. No pressure. Good morning, everyone. The windows are open, the sun is shining, and I am brushing my hair because I realized I hadn't brushed it and I was about to leave. Um, it is day two of audio recording and I am loving having my hair styled like this. It's so easy so much easier than the waves i don't even i haven't touched it with any heat this morning because it's just kind of kept its style anyway today i'm wearing a laura piana shirt dress vintage belt and my bag of choice is my birkin on a budget <laughs> this is a little basket bag inspired by jane birkin um, i've had it for a while but haven't used it and today I am using it. I think it's super practical because it's got this lid, first and foremost, that's attached. So when you take it off, it just goes like that. It is also properly lined with all of my bits and pieces in it. But it also has an internal, oh gosh, an internal mini pocket here, which none of the other basket bags I've bought ever have. It's also super cheap in the realms of handbags. Um, because it is handmade from like an, I think it's an independent seller. I think it's on Amazon and I love the handle. I love the details of it. No branding. Also the color of the wicker means it goes with my tan accessories. I am going to add a little twilly to it I think which is hilarious because the twilly costs more than the bag. <laughs> so I'm going to pop that on now. I would show you, in fact let me show you how I do this. Super easy, my SA showed me how to do this. So I basically find the middle of the twilly like so, you can see that, and I just take one side and wrap it how I would to the end of the handle. Now there's not as much fabric because it's a bigger handle than my other bags, but it works super well. And you just tie it in a knot at the end, pull the little, little end through like that, and then can do the same thing on the other side. And I actually think that I prefer this one, probably because it's a bit more Jane Birkin inspired, to the other basket bag that I got from Amazon a while ago. I feel like this one's just a little bit more chic. Like so. How good is that? Very, very happy. So I'll show you that with my outfit. I've got a comfy dress on today, ballet flats, little bag. I'm probably gonna take a cardigan of some sort. And I'm ready to go for day two. I'm very tired. Um, I'm shocked by how draining it actually is. And um, I think today is gonna to be a lot more draining. I've packed a lot more makeup because this is going to be the difficult day where there's lots of tears. So time to head to London. We're picking up where we left off. Oh no, we have jumped. We were on page 100 and 26 I think and we will be tackling the end of summer which is about 20 pages and then moving on to autumn and um, yeah, I'm, I'm nervous about it but I think I'm sure I'll be fine.
probably building up to something and it'll be fine but I've brought extra makeup in my bag with me just in case and just to show you how this is so this is really really interesting as a studio I mean I've never done this before um, I feel a little bit like Mariah Carey when I come in here but you shut this first door and it really almost like locks in but then there's also the secondary door which weighs a ton and look how thick they are like I'm just fascinated and I'm also fascinated by what's on the walls as well because they have a kind of hessian sack which I don't know if you remember as kids but like you would you would say to yourself oh let's let's soundproof our bedrooms by sticking egg boxes on the ceilings and the walls and there's no egg boxes <laughs> but there are lots of sort of padded ujimi flips in here and it looks very nice to be honest there's burgundy accents it feels very autumnal maybe that's why i'm getting so ready for autumn but yes ready to sit down and tackle the end of summer so in order to get myself comfortable as i've learnt yesterday i take my shoes off i also loosen my belt yesterday i had to undo my dress but today just a belt and if i need to i can unbutton the the dress at my um waist but let's go all out let's be super duper comfy today and then I've got my little cardigan that I can sort of drape over my um legs but yeah I'm learning embracing my amateur status as a audiobook recorder <laughs> right I've got this little cushion as well which it, initially I was hugging it to stop my tummy from rumbling but I'm actually it's quite comforting when you're reading like this so yeah I've got I should have bought socks that's the thing I forgot socks but I've got lozenges in my bag in fact I'll get those out at some point um, pop this over my legs I'm going cross-legged today I'm going full sloth mode got my glass of water headphones on can you hear me whittering away to my camera <laughs> phone onto airplane mode so I'm uncontactable <clears throat> okay <clears throat> I might take a little bit of time to ease myself into it again <laughs> everything that's happened up until this point has got you here slower quicker okay It's really hard to like pick it back up. It's actually, I was like, I've kind of got this. No, <laughs> I can feel myself that I'm not as relaxed as I was once I was into it yesterday. So it's just gonna probably take me a bit of time to come back down. In order to know where you want to go and how you want to get there, it's vital that you accept where you're starting from. Everything that's happened up until this point has got you here. A place with so much potential. Let's rip that one. And see the vast expanse of bright blue would it be okay if I um, get some lip balm? Do you have your lip balm? So my lipstick today is sticky and it keeps, yeah, it, no, it keeps sticking my teeth, uh, my lips together. So I'm like bleh, falling over my words even more. It, that's perfect. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> Do you need me to open the door? I was going to say, because I've got my legs crossed. I'm like full Buddha in here. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna get nervous now, the big dog's here. <laughs> it's also crucial, albeit self, that is a lot. <laughs> it's also a crucial, albeit subconscious. Step forwards, make it, sorry, I'm falling over this one. Celebrate other people's success stories and reframe them as evidence that success is possible for you too. Not only will this make you feel, not only will this make you both feel amazing, but every time you acknowledge when things go well for people around you, this will remind your brain that it is possible for things to go well for you as well. Don't know where that hair came from. <laughs> Okie dokie. <clears throat> I really feel very vulnerable that you hear all my mouthy bodily noises in that room. No, I, looked, I said at the beginning of this video, I was like, if this whole YouTube thing doesn't work out, I think I could do it. And then I did the first day and I was like, I don't think I can do this. 
There's nothing quite like sitting on the edge of the ocean as the sun wakes up on the horizon in summer. With the sand between my toes, the cool mist from the salt dipped breeze on my skin and a vast expanse of water stretching as far as the eye can see before me. I was just taking a bit more time with it because I know you said that if I take time you can kind of edit it back together. Okay, okay, no. Yeah, not being mean again. <laughs> it's just, that's my terminology kind of thing. Yep, yep, yep. For that reason, I've placed authenticity at the forefront of everything I do, every day since. Yeah, yeah, keep hydrated. Oh, I keep forgetting that you can hear me sloshing it around in my mouth. <laughs> oh, this is the most graphic book recording ever. <laughs> Personally, I've lost track of the number of times I've been told that I'm no longer relatable or too much in my life. Did that sound right? I don't sound like I'm about it. <laughs> okay, good. But, so I've wrapped it around. <laughs> oh my gosh. But yeah, so it's it's slightly, it will be wider. Yeah, yeah, this, yeah. But the foil has just come out so perfectly. That's what we were really looking at. Oh my God. Oh, just throwing my little wet wipe on. <laughs> it would be this gold yeah. to go up there. Yeah, yeah. Because I think that will kind of complement that will complement the end papers really nicely. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah. the ribbon, this like dark yeah. green, so that it kind of. But I can leave this with you today, so you can have a look again. So I almost feel like you could go with like a. Yeah, you could. Or you go for the kind of but that gold is just quite. It's a bit. Greeny. greeny gold, isn't it? I don't think yeah. it would, and that's a bit too yellowy gold, isn't it? Yeah, green, I think. I think it's... Yeah. So if we put it like this... Yeah. It's a really quite a true match. Yeah. Oh um, my god! I'm so proud of you. Yeah, I feel <laughs> yeah. like I'm like at that point where yeah, I'm like, like, right, now it's my turn to take the baton and like <laughs> run and record it and stuff. So. Well, I've learnt many, many things, even in the uh, reading of summer this morning because um, I've definitely learned that don't wear a vinyl lipstick when you're recording an audiobook because they are sticky. Not sticky in the sense that like it's uncomfortable but your mouth like sticks together because you kind of enunciate a lot more when you're doing this. I definitely find that I do that but yeah I had to like take my lipstick off, put some lip balm on and I feel a lot more comfortable now. Um, but we're just getting to the end of summer and moving into the, the chapter that like I'm worried about but we're gonna see how it goes. It just is what it is. And I'm sure if I just give myself time, it'll be okay. So yeah. <coughs> Ooh, that was a big tummy rumble. <laughs> it wasn't a fart, I promise. <laughs> that was a real rumble. <laughs> we're all <all-up> friends. <laughs> just as the trees shed their leaves to preserve their energy, let go of anything and anyone that is holding you back. I don't suppose the trees particularly enjoy shedding their leaves each year but it's vital for their survival and strength long term. Keep in mind that you can shed metaphorical leaves year round. Forting all. Okay, cool. I'll start from the top. In my eyes, this represents the perfect antidote to the fear that failure is final and a reliable source of calm when life feels anything but. Please remember this. These days, I truly believe that the moments in life that feel like they're going to break us the moments that take every ounce of energy we've got to survive are the moments that make us the very strongest version of ourselves that we can possibly be. You're going to learn so much about yourself and your inner strength in the weeks to come. And eventually, even if the clouds feel heavy right now, the sky will clear one day. And you'll emerge from the storm with your roots intact. Yes. You might feel a bit battered and bare, 
Like me, you might have lost a branch or five en route. But that core strength of yours, oh my goodness, that will come into its own and those branches will start growing again in the months to come. Dare I say it, but they might even flower someday too. <clears throat> Promise I'll get through this part. Thanks, Mum. <laughs> I hate blowing my nose without a mirror. <laughs> go down in history that a bit of my snot is on this table somewhere <laughs> oh dear okay this is why I woke up one day at some point in autumn I realized that it was time to move on I'd been living in darkness for what had felt like weeks and a day came where it felt like I was presented with a choice stay there grieve forever and allow sadness to consume me for the rest of my days. Or do what I had to do to find clearer skies again. More often than not, we might choose to find shelter where we can wait a while for the clouds to clear. For me, that looked a lot like doing what I've mentioned previously in midwinter. Lots of hibernating in solitude and recharging at home until I found some energy to face the world again. Which is why I've stressed in my introduction that these chapters are interchangeable, depending on where and what you're going through in life. And eventually, once I started to feel a bit more capable, I put one foot in front of the other and started living, not just surviving, again. Well, I made it through <laughs> by the skin of my snot. <laughs> Um, that was very, very, very hard. And also teamed with the challenge of desnotting with an audience. <laughs> Not so easy. <laughs> um, there are the remnants of said desnotting. But um, it feels kind of cathartic as well, like to have spoken about my failure, spoken about my loss, and done so here it feels final like I'm closing the chapter of a book <laughs> but yes anyway time for lunch okay get comfy seven pages and a few tiddly bits to go conclusion whether it's the daily return of light or darkness, the monthly orbit of the moon, or the annual return of the seasons, which have provided so much grounding in recent years. It's not lost on me how things come full circle in life. I wrote this book for you too. Should you want to hear it now, or perhaps find yourself needing some reassurance later down the line, that is. My hope is that in sharing these thoughts and how I navigate them throughout the year, You'll rediscover the joy in the everyday. If and when the seasons don't align with how you're feeling, I want you to draw from this book as you please, in whatever order you need to hear it. With that in mind, I hope that the experiences I share on solitude, rest, intuition and reflection in both of the wintry sections of the book serve as a reminder that taking a step back and slowing down, pause, is sometimes the most productive thing we can do. Oh, ah, so, okay. <laughs> it also allows us to get some energy back so we can sustain the progress we see in the areas of our lives that do bring joy. After all, as I mentioned in that chapter, I'm quietly confident that it's helping you to get clear on what you want for yourself. I promise you, that you are becoming a stronger version of yourself with every minute that passes. And though your branches might be broken and your trunk battered and tired, you are rooted in more strength than you know. This is Lydia Millen.
I hope you've enjoyed listening to my audiobook edition of Evergreen, presented by Orion Spring. Again? Okay. Oh my god, yes! Now it's time for my rendition of Beyonce's. <laughs> <laughs> I've always wanted to do this. <laughs> Lizzie's like, absolutely not. <laughs> oh dear. Welcome. It's 27 degrees in here. Are you hot? No, I'm in my natural habitat. <laughs> um, so heads up, um, there's a someone that works here, their daughter's outside and wants to meet you. Oh, blooming heck. Okay, <laughs> hold on, let me just sort my face out because I've, <laughs> I've, I've, I've like cried. I thought I'll, I'll fix my makeup at the, <laughs> the panic. <laughs> I've been crying and everything. You, you are. You look great. I'll book a sneaker afterwards. Okay. A bit of lip gloss. <laughs> Spritz a bit of perfume. <laughs> oh wait, I forget that you can hear me in there. <laughs> For God's sake. <laughs> I've not even got my belt done up. <laughs> Tell me you have the most wonderful and supportive and caring and kind team without telling me you have the most caring and kind and supportive, and I've forgotten all the other adjectives I, I used before, without, I, I've lost it. <laughs> I was trying to be cool, it didn't work. But this, I, and I feel like this, I just want you to take this in for a second, and I promise you this is not me gloating. It's something that you have those moments of realization, and I, t I talked about it today, that this is what matters to me, okay, this, this care that we have for each other, that we'll do something when we don't have to, for someone that we work with day in, day out, that will probably annoy us regardless. And the thing that I was talking about today was, was the team that I've cultivated over the years. And... For those of you that don't know, when I first started YouTube, I actually had management, like a proper management team. And I look back now and the girls that I worked with when I was there for a very short period of time, like everyone else, are always just doing their best, but it didn't work out. And I think because it was totally on me, and I've talked about this previously, but it was totally on me. It was one of those, to quote my favorite movie, round peg, square hole moments, in that the majority of people aspire to have these cutthroat, powerhouse, sometimes girl boss-like teams, and that works for them, and that's, that's perfect for them, and if that's what they want, that's fine, but I didn't really understand that there's other ways of doing things in business, and you can do things calmly, with people that you care about and that care about you. And you can do it with women you can have, or men, that you can have interesting conversations with and in environments that grow you, support you, and also don't necessarily, and take this with a, spin, a spinch, a spinch of salt, don't destroy you in the process because I think that part of like the hustle and the needing to be the best destroys people a lot of the time and I'm not even sure where that comes from in reality because it certainly can't come from a place of happiness all the time I'm sure there are people that, that do but not all the time and I realized that I was not that person that person that would hustle and and be ruthless and step on others to get to where I needed to be. What I wanted to cultivate was an office of really lovely people who like doing a really good job, but also like having a really good life. And I don't ever really talk about the, the um, nitty gritty of like the team or anything like that, because 
their lives aren't on the internet but like, so I can't really I don't really share those kinds of things but they never have to ask me to take time off I never know someone just tells me oh so and so's off today I'm like cool <laughs> if they need to leave because they've got an issue they just leave I'm sure they tell me but I trust them unequivocally that they're always doing the right thing and I'm sure that I will end up one day potentially being burned if I haven't already but I do so because I want to live a good life as much as I want them to live a good life I want them to have a really lovely environment to work in for most of the time sometimes it can be a bit stressful but for the, for the most part the more I chill the better it gets and so yeah my, like I, I might not be as far as I could have been if I'd really hustled and stood on other people to get there i'm sure i'd be much further working on much bigger things but i know that when i tried to do that i wasn't happy and now i am working on a project evergreen that is the most spectacular and wonderful project for me let alone like without you guys having read it this has been the most wonderful project for me and so if it comes out and you all hate it in all honesty, I'm okay with that because I love it. And when you do something with full love and full happiness and just pour everything you've got into it, if people don't like it, it doesn't matter because you like it. And I've gone off on a massive tangent, but this, this is the accurate depiction of the team that I've built and the wonderful, wonderful women that I keep around me and that for me is success honestly that is success like we can go out together and spend time together and work together but also respect each other in a work environment when we disagree and i just think that is beautiful and it's taken me a long time to realize that the other way just isn't right for me and it's right for others and i get it and that's fine but for me this is just everything so with that in mind <laughs> i'm gonna make myself some dinner and then and then save just enough space for a big slice of cake um ali is down with his friends and he messaged me he was like i'm still down playing golf and everyone wants me to stay and have drinks is that okay i was like yes have drinks but just remember that you promised you'd go for a run with me in the morning because I've been sat in a recording studio for two whole days my legs feel like like they want to run a marathon it is such a bizarre feeling but anyway it is now raining I've got the sausage dogs who probably need feeding and I'm going to cook myself some dinner snuggle on the sofa and chill like I do every night yeah it's weird that my um that my audiobook is actually like done and i was explaining to fee um how it's such an interesting process and i know i've talked about this and whenever i talk about this people like to say oh it's because you had this and you had that but the reality of writing a book is so interesting because you have the sort of it's almost like a relay and 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 the publishing house they have the baton to begin with and they come to you if they think that, you know, there's a good concept for a book. And they've got the baton. And they've got to get off the starting post. And then it's got to be written. So you're holding the baton then. And you're panicking. And, and you've got so much pressure because you know that you've got to pass the baton on. And then obviously you've got to do the audio book. And again, you're holding that baton. And you're like, oh my gosh, I'm holding this baton and I've got to hold it and do my best and get the best time in a relay like in a relay sense so that I can pass it on to the next person and then it goes to publicists and management and everything in between the, the editors the things like that it's just it's really interesting how many people come together and how that relay plays out and how when it's your turn to run you sort of like, you feel it, but you're, you kind of embrace it at the same time. So anyway, it's a very, very, very exciting time for me. 
And now, I'm gonna do what I did last night, and the night before, and the night before that, because this is the moment where summer starts sort of collapsing into autumn. And we've got these dreary evenings and it's, what time is it? Eight o'clock and it's starting to get dark. And I'm gonna do what I find most comfy when it's like this. Put some pajamas on, put some hearty food in the oven and relax. Perfect. Oh my God. If I was a cup, I'd be pouring over with hot chocolate. It's so full. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It is a hectic day at my house and I'm doing my second signing from here today. I was supposed to be going to London. There's like tube strikes, there's all of that kind of thing. So we've managed to get the books to my house with my evergreen ladies from Orion Spring. And we are about to do some flapping in my kitchen. <laughs> My outfit of the day is a little casual number. I've got some white bowfoot and big jeans. I'm actually wearing, I think it's a silk cotton half penny t-shirt that Kate made for me a few years ago. I've actually never worn it, um, but I saw this little inspo picture and I was like, do you know what? Blue shirt, white jeans, tan shoes, and um, this video is gonna be going out on launch day, which is super exciting for me, but I'm still, as I'm filming up to this, working away behind the scenes. I don't actually have my own copy of my book yet. You would have seen in my video before that I um, went and signed at Jaffa and Neil. And uh, I didn't get my own book, <laughs> but it has arrived and I am gonna get to have my own book today. Um, I'm actually gonna unbox it either on Instagram or here, I haven't decided yet. But um, yeah, second signing, ready to go. I'm gonna make myself a coffee and crack on with things, but um, I'm shaking, by the way. I am shaking. If you see me shaking, it's because this this really is now like, we're in the like, we're on the home stretch with this. And I am I am a little bit like, wow, this is actually happening. And so the girls were talking to, to me about it downstairs. They were like, the two weeks in the lead up, it's a very vulnerable time. Like I've shared a lot of myself in this book. And, um, yeah, so I'm like, I keep noticing when I'm talking to people, I'm like, hi. <laughs> but it's all part of the things that I have to lean into a little bit. But yeah, anyway, the girls are bringing in the books. I have helped, I promise. But I was like, while Sally helped, I'm going to run upstairs, vlog quickly, show you my outfit, show you the huge, and crack on. So let's go. So we've done all of these. These are all They're packed. Fine. Wow, yeah. okay, we've already signed all of these. <laughs> these are looking, my gosh, look at them. They look so good. <gasps> wow. And then just, I can't actually even see you there. So you're in behind oh, that, that big man of books. Just a little head pop up over here and of how much you actually spend yeah. Oh, yeah. and you're thinking I'm gonna have my own eggs and it's like yeah they cost you enough <laughs> yeah. but it's the satisfaction yeah I honestly I love it I love going down there in the morning and like 
getting the eggs. everything. And they, they yeah. are now just becoming really super friendly. Oh, no. So they like run over to you. Like the moment I open the door in the morning, they come and they congregate at the, the front of the, the, the pen and then they follow me around. Now they let me stroke them, whereas they, they wouldn't let me anywhere yeah. near them before. Yeah. Do you really hear them in the morning? No. Oh, you don't? No. Is there, is there, is there no cockerel? No. Oh, but Jemima, Jemima's a funny one because she was, for a while, she liked to announce eggs had been made. Oh, love she that. does still sometimes do it out of nowhere and she just sticks her head out the side of the coop and she just goes, <laughs> and she does it for like hours sometimes. And I just think she likes letting us know. Great. Yeah. She's a strange one, but she's not a cockerel. sound thing that I put, we put out on the newsletter last night, in a few days time I could get away with putting that on TikTok. Yeah. But I also think that that will, get, oh, that's such does. a, um, what's the word, ASMR space that I think that people oh, are Oh, 100%. Yeah. It's so ready for, yeah, yeah. Ready for TikTok. Um, Maybe that's why I find the audio books are soothing on the ASMR oh, space. So. Ellie not stop going on about how much she enjoys it. So, Soon. Oh, I was going for a really difficult day and I was like very stressed and then I went to see the audio book record and I came out like, oh, I'm just so <laughs> Oh, I love that. I mean, it was that again, that was such an experience. And then when we, when we got it through, I was like, is it okay if I go back and record the, the, the first bit? And actually when I got the full thing back, yeah. I was like, okay, I can see where I relax. I definitely relaxed yeah. more on the second day. Yeah. But it, I wasn't, I was, I was really worried that I hadn't done it just no. now. It's such the. Um, I mean, I only heard the first day. So. Yeah, yeah. The audio recording. Um, it's such a great moment, but it's also I think can be really um, overwhelming. Yeah. yeah. Because you're you've already like you've had to let go of the text. Yeah. Because that's gone. Mm -hmm. And then you're like, oh, I mean, so many times like we'll have authors who are like. I just, I didn't include this, like, I know I've, like, read it out, I think the good thing was that you'd read it out loud I so much. I knew I had to do that, I had yeah. to do that. I thought you like, were going to, yeah, yeah, would do that. That's the thing, so many authors wouldn't. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. so funny. Yeah. They, would not, they wouldn't necessarily hear what they've written yeah, yeah. out loud. Mm -hmm. And actually, um, you know, it does sound different. And Yeah, it does. And, yeah, and also I think there will always be things that you look back and think, I wish I'd include that, but then that's when I always say well, that's the next book. Yeah, 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 absolutely. <laughs> um. So this is what we've got left. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. That's the part of that. It's funny, but your brain just kind of like cut yeah. out for like two for a second. <laughs> what is money? <laughs> it's like when we were at Jeff and Neil, mm. and I was like, is that how you write daughters? Yeah. <laughs> Like, because when you sometimes when you see a word, you're like, mm. so the word Tuesday. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wednesday. Yeah. Wednesday. <laughs> oh yeah, I still have to do yeah. that in my head. Yeah. Wednesday. I have to be yeah. beautiful Fe every time. Be February. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can't. I'm go government. Government. <laughs> government. Like, could I be more West Country? That's really good. Could I have like <laughs> every time I'm like. Dun, dun. <laughs> Accommodation has a two end. Yeah. yeah. So once when I was again a baby publicist, I did this full schedule and my director was like, Penny, do you have to start accommodation work? Quite <laughs> Maybe just have a little look, like it's not a vital thing, but you know, for the future. Do you know what word throws me every time? Thoroughly. Oh can't oh. do it. I'm like no. T H O R O U R L Y G H L Y. Thank you. That's one word that I'm like, I can't. Oh, yeah, everyone has one. Yeah. <laughs> so that is it. That is the audio book um, ready. The book is out. The audio book is out. Um, there should be some more signed copies coming, I think. I will confirm. But um, more than anything, I just want to say again, thank you. This has been the 
best ride of my life um, and I have just enjoyed every single moment of it. So now I need to get on over to my next video because I have an event to get ready for and um, I need to get down to London and I need to practice with my little cards and make sure that I've you know, got everything on lock and um, it feels nice going into something with this confidence that I now have. And I know that so many of you have noticed this and have seen this in me and I'm so grateful that you take the time to let me know when you notice it because sometimes it can feel like you're sort of questioning yourself. And so when someone says, you're doing good, aren't you? You're doing all right. You're like, yeah, I am. <laughs> so that's it. It's out there in the world. I cannot wait for a glass of champagne. Cheers.